Alrighty, let's get this started. A quick run through of the table of contents today. I'm going to be quickly going over through an introduction of the S Pen remote and explain to you how and like where you could use it. And then Pang Yan's going to come up on stage and tell you how you could integrate your applications to the S Pen remote. And we're going to end the session by explaining where you could try it out yourself and where you could get more freebies. So, what is the S Pen? The S Pen. There you go. The S Pen is an iconic stylus digital pen for our Samsung Galaxy devices, such as a Galaxy Note, the Galaxy S, uh, Tab S, or the Galaxy Book series, which is our Windows tablet book. In, uh, for the Galaxy Note series, it's actually stored within the device, so it's very thin, but it's just the right grip, um, just the right size to give a nice firm grip when you're writing. It also, um, it also has a button in the middle. So if you hover over the phone, you could quickly access the, your favorite shortcuts to the application that you want. Now, to explain why we made the S Pen, we have to go back to 2011 when we first made the Galaxy Note. When we first made the Galaxy Note, we knew that doers and achievers wanted a large screen phone to get their things done. But we didn't want to make just any large screen phone. We wanted a differentiator, something that would make us different from all the other competitors out there. So what did we decide to do? We decided to introduce a daily usage of everyday pen into the device, and voila, that's how the Galaxy Note series and the S Pen had been born. I've been actually using the Galaxy Note series since 2012, when that's when the Galaxy Note 2 first came out. And by God, I love the features and it's the innovations that we make every year to make it better and better. Let me just show you some of the features that I like the best. It has a fine tip like at 0.7 millimeters, just like your average ballpoint pen. And it also has over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which means that it feels real when you're writing. If you're writing, if you see the um, Samsung Flip on the side over here, I'm going to demonstrate a bit. I wrote an S Pen right now. If you give it a nice feathery light touch, it writes very thin. If you try to press hard, it gives you a nice bold line, full expression of what you want to express on the digital, digital device. Can I have a volunteer to try this out for me? OK, thank you. I, I'll, I'll be there. Like we demonstrated, we have over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, again, to make it feel real when you're writing on a digital, digital device. Also, it's IP68 water and dust resistant, like your Galaxy Note. So you could use it underwater for 30 minutes, or, or you could use it in the rain. So it's, whether it's wet or dry, rain or shine, you can still use your device whenever you want to. Also, one of my favorite uh, features are the screen off memo. So if you just pop out the Galaxy, your S Pen from the Galaxy Note, you can automatically write on the uh, screen off part of it, and it will save in your Galaxy Note. Also, the air command. This is a hover part that I've been uh, talking about. If you put your S Pen near the screen and click on the button, it gives you a little shortcut. My favorites are the translate feature, which I use for like reading Italian menus or French menus when I'm browsing through Chinese uh, websites. Or the Smart Select, which you can make GIFs out of videos. So these, these are the features that I wanted to share with you. Well, these features right now were all available until the Galaxy Note 8, which was launched last year. But we wanted something more for the next Galaxy Note 9. We wanted to make it more versatile to broaden the range of interactions users have with their smartphones. If users can communicate with their phones from a distance without the burden of carrying like bulky accessories like a selfie stick or a little remote control, 
then the added flexibility would allow them to do more with their devices. Even when they can't reach their phone, you can still use all of the great features the Note 9 has. So what did we decide to do? We decided to embed wireless charging Bluetooth technology, a Bluetooth module and an antenna into that tiny little device so that you could make it, you could use it as a remote control. See it over there? And until the Galaxy Note 9, the S Pens did not have any batteries within it. But we had to add a supercapacitor so that it powers the S Pen to, you could, so that you could use its Bluetooth features even though when it's out. And that's how the all new S Pen had been born. With the Bluetooth feature, the Note 9 now understands the color of your S Pen. So if you write with the yellow pen, the ink, the digital ink will come out yellow. If you write with a violet pen, the digital ink would come out violet, silver. And also, you can use it up to 200 clicks, so that gives you enough time to get the right selfie. Or 30 minutes usage out of pocket. If you, if you want to charge it again, then you just need to put it back in the device. And it only takes up to 40 seconds to fully charge the S Pen usage for 30 minutes. OK, so convenient, right? OK, quick pop-up question for the next freebie. Up to how do, you, how do you think how far you could use the S Pen to get to your note? How, um, what do you think the meters or feet will be? 30 feet. Almost, very close. 32, yes, thank you. She got it right. Woohoo! Yes, up to about 10 meter radius or a range or 32 meters, uh, 32 feet. So that's the S Pen remote, that's for the Galaxy New Note 9. Okay, so we have some examples of how the S Pen remote works, uh, when you can use it. This is my favorite. You could use it as a to power your camera. Click once, you could take a picture of yourself. Double click would change from front to back camera. Also, you can watch it, you use it to, when you're watching YouTube videos, if you click once, it would either play or pause. If you click twice, it would go on to the next video. You could actually use it like this remote control over here when you're using a PowerPoint. Click once to go on to the next slide, click twice to go backwards. And you could actually customize its usages. Let's see what you could do. Swipe down, we have a little quick button over there. Click on it. So the default is to open the camera when you press when you long press it. But you could change that to what, whichever app you want to call out when you press your S Pen remote button. Voila, that's how you do it. Neat, right? OK, so my colleague, these, uh, these are just a few ideas that we had for the S Pen. But we want to hear what your ideas are. We want to know how we could maximize the usages with your applications. So Pangyan will be coming up on stage to explain how easy it is to integrate it into your apps. Come on, Pangyan. Um, hi everyone, my name is Pang Yong Kwon. I'm a software engineer in charge of S Pen. Uh, today, I'd like to introduce how to handle the S Pen remote event in Android application. Uh, before we get started, let's talk about the difficulty when supporting a new controller. It may be sometimes stressful for developers because you shouldn't study new API and did many practice. In some cases, application size may increase significantly due to the library. This problem makes development difficult and time consuming. In other hand, supporting the SPL remote is free from this problem. 
the most important consideration for designing structure was to support easy and simple applying method for developers. You don't need to import any library. You don't need to implement dedicated handler with new API. This is possible because the SPM framework changed Bluetooth signal to key event and dispatch it to the application. So your only work is to make the SPM framework know which key code you can handle. And you can achieve it simply by creating an XML file. In other words, just declare the desired key code in the XML. It looks really simple, isn't it? OK, I'd like to explain uh, how to create the XML through an example. Uh, here is a simple game application. Race car is running along the road. You should control the car to avoid the truck. You can move the rain by tapping the screen or pressing the space key on the keyboard. Now, I want to make this game to be played with the S Pen, and I will create the XML to achieve it. Uh, let's see the detailed step to create the XML file. First, you should check for the activity component to handle key band in the manifest file and add intent filter and metadata element to that activity. Just copy sample code and paste into your application. Note that the metadata should point to the uh, XML file that will be created in next step. Next, create an XML file under the resource folder. In this, in this file, add a remote action root element, which contains, contains action elements. Uh, let's take a closer look at the XML structure. Uh, each action element contains ID, label, priority, and trigger key. Uh, I want to explain all attributes since it is uh, very simple and easy to understand. Uh, instead, I'm going to mention only trigger key attribute here. Trigger key specifies the key code to handle. OK, do you remember? Which key made the car move? Space. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, right. At the answer is space key, right? Uh, race car is controlled by space key, so space should be must be set in trigger key. This simple. Okay, that's all. That's it. Really? Really? Yes, <laughs> really finished. Uh, save the XML and build an APK and roll on device. And check whether the application is registered in the S Pen remote setting and it is enabled. If everything is OK, the air command icon turns blue when the application is launched. And you can see that it's controlled by S Pen. It's very simple and easy, as I said. Right? Uh, imagine that you can have the most powerful controller uh, by the easiest way. If you want to know more information, please visit our code lab. Uh, you can learn more useful skill uh, through an example. Thank you. Thank you for explaining, Pangyan. I'm back on stage. I'm going to tell you where you could try it out yourself. Yeah, we have a booth already over there. It's across the Maserati. We have the S Pen Remote booth, and also across from it is where Pangyan will be staying at the Code Lab. That's where you could get more freebies. The S Pen that I just gave out to you, you could get those over there. 
Also, we have the manufacturer Wacom. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to make the S Pen so great. So we have the Wacom kiosk at the S Pen remote booth too, so you could check out their cool AI AR features with digital ink. Okay, if you have any questions about the S Pen, we're going to address them at the booth because we don't have any more time to stay here right now. Thank you everyone for coming to this session. Make sure to rate us at the application. Thank you.